video I have a little disclaimer this actually didn't happen to me but to another person we're going to pretend it's me and I'm going to, and there were a lot of rude words in the original story so I'm going to use the word rude word instead of the actual words this story is called what do you mean I can't bring 30 kids to this Christmas party so it all starts in Christmas 2017 me and my friends have been invited to be special guest stars at a Christmas party in an upscale hotel you book online and then come over, be signed in by an elf, get a whole magical welcome speech and be taken up in a lift to a ballroom decked out in winter wonderland attire. It was everything and really cool. There were Christmas parties, we had games, we had drinks, mulled wine for parents, kids entertainers, Santa, the Santa we had was a trained actor, it was really cool. However, this area of England was known for a lot of entitled parents. So it's no surprise when a woman covered in makeup, the entitled parent of the story, stormed in looking for someone, saw an elf making a balloon dog for a young girl. Oh no, he's the chosen one. And then, Sondra was like, oh you! And the elf was trying, almost dropped the balloon he was doing for some girl, like, he was, like, doing a party balloon, and I was like, hello there, miss, and you here to see Santa? I really wouldn't even thought I was, yeah? Whoa, 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 can we maybe not use naughty list language in front of everyone? Especially the kids? I'll say what I rude wording will, please! So I came over, and asked if there was a problem, and I'll take over, and the elf said, the elf said, please do. So I took over his son and said, hello, miss, I'm sorry if there's been a mix. Start for a problem, we'll get it sorted. You rude wording bird fix it. The rude word downstairs says I don't have a booking. Okay, I'll see what I could do. So I went to get the clipboard and was like, what's your name? Miss whatever. Okay, whatever part, oh here it is. Whatever party with three kids. Oh my rude word, you're all dumb as each other. Excuse me? It's 30, 3 oh. And I was like, you've brought 30 kids with you? Yes, it's my son's party. It's my son's class, and I thought I'd take them for a treat. So I took a look at the clipboard. Now, if you remember, you have to pay... You do it weeks in advance and online. What I think happened was she booked three kids, and after, when off the rails, I booked 30, thinking you would take it as a computer error. It was £15 for kids and a fiver for adults, but I know that's expensive, but this is an upscale hotel. Okay, I'm sorry, miss, but I think there's been a bit of a mix-up. And she was like, a mix-up? You ruining Christmas of 30 kids? You're calling it a rude wedding mix-up? Not at all. I will gladly let you shout here, or we can try and fix it. So she's just like, What? How dare you talk back to me, she said. And I said, Ma'am, I know you pay good money, but you pay for like three kids, which is £60. If you paid for 30, you'd be paying £455. And then it gets worse. And she just sighed and was like, Fine, I'll pay the rest. Do you have a card machine? Everyone brace yourselves for this next bit. I had to tell her that unfortunately we can't accommodate a large booking today. And she was like, what? <laughs> I'm sorry, we have 30 kids a day. We just don't have the time because each kid has allotted 20 minutes of Santa. And then she just sneered and was like, well, we have to stay open then, won't you? Unfortunately, we can't because that requires to keep guessing until roughly 5 a.m., breaking labour laws, licensing laws, and immensely disrupting the super hotel guests. So you're telling me you can't stay just to make Christmas magical for some kids? Unfortunately, we can't. The law doesn't allow, I'm afraid. I tried to explain my options, but she wasn't having any of it. She then put on a fake smile and said, I didn't really want us to do this because it's so embarrassing, but you know who I am, yeah? I actually took a look at the clipboard again, wondering who she was. I mean, and I didn't know who she was. She could have been the postman's cousin for all I knew. I told her, no, should I? And her then face then dropped like a piano out a window. What? You don't know me? No, should I? And then my radio crackled to life and the lobby elf, LB, asked if anyone was there. So I picked up and I was like, hello? Yes, is, what's the problem? Has a blonde lady come up your way? She's had 30 kids down here and we can't keep watching them. She left them there? Yeah. We've already had a dormant stopping them from escaping and running out. And we've had eight already try to come up to you. Okay, I'll sort this out. Ma'am, do you have any other... Do you have any other parents with you? No, I'm chaperone. I'm sorry, I'm gonna have to ask you to go back to your group of kids. 
Fine, she said, and then we'll be able to discuss this later. And I just said, no, you won't bring an additional 30 kids up here with you. We don't have the room and it's a fire hazard. I actually didn't know if it was a fire hazard. I just said that to sound authoritative. So then I told her her options again. I'm sorry, but you've come on the wrong day and you haven't booked correctly. That's not my fault, nor the whole fault of the hotel. There are four things we can do. First, refund your money and do with it what you wish. Arrange for another day. I'll transfer the money over to the next day and we'll have the lobby elf tell the kids that Santa's had to go back to the North Pole for the day and have three kids come up to see Santa, which was what was promised, so and what you paid for. See, Santa comes down for a group meeting. You won't get alone time, the kids won't, or additional photographs, but we'll have plenty of toys. The entire parent just went mad at me and she just exploded. You're a rude one in disgrace. You're going to ruin Christmas for 30 kids, 30. What is wrong with you, fat rude word? And I am a bit chubby, so it's got me quite riled up. I was like, all right, then there's option four. I call security and have you removed from the hotel. And she screamed, you're a rude word, and punched me in the face. I looked up at her and she obviously was looking for a fight, but I'm a classy rude word. So what I decided to do was I got the lift while holding my face, told her to get in it when she arrived and called for security. I didn't get to see what happened first hand because I was taken to file out an incident report. But from what I heard, she was dragged into a police car, kicking and screaming, and the parents had to pick up the kids. Yeah, it was a bit of a disaster. One more thing is, I want to know who she was. Turns out, she was a footballer's wife, apparently. Her husband, like, plays for Liverpool or something unknown. But I still had no idea who she was. So, my name's Oliver, and this has been my Christmas story, so, Merry Christmas! Oh, <laughs>